the last part we need to model is this part right here and it has the same shape of this object except it's a bit rounded down here so let me get back to 3ds max and before we do this I need to change something I need to make these uh, legs having the same lens of course so I change the mode the vertex mode I select all of these vertices here yeah. is a scale tool to make the, them all even because it's useless to have legs while it's not even okay so now we have a uh, different uh, ways to create this part I can extrude these pieces or maybe I can create a, a an element separate it and get it closer and that's what I will do because extrusion uh, takes much effort in adjusting everything so I select these four and I get back to front view, right view shift drag them and here I got two options clone to object to clone to element I will clone it to object so I can be free while I'm selecting vertices and later I will attach it to make it an element back so I press OK now I have this object uh, let me change the mode I have this object right here let me push it back so you can see him I need to make it uh, thick so I go to edge mode and if I tried to double click I won't get I will get nothing and that will be crazy to select this one by one so control A to select all edges and use alt to deselect these three edges get back to right view shift drag the edges to the amount we need things that's fine and now I go to border mode and cap this now I need to make it rounded before I attach it back so uh, let me change the mode to back and here I need to make sure the uh, the pivot point is in the middle like you see here so uh, I open the modifier list and I will make use of tapper where is it that's here modifier and uh, let me raise the amount so you can see the effect of course that's not what we need we need to work on y axis and limit the z axis but here you can see we have a problem with the uh, the pivot point so let me go to hierarchy effect pivot only and drag it to the middle and let me do the same with the editable poly I go to effect pivot only and let me make it aligned to this object and press ok now unfortunately I need to get rid of this taper and start over again so now we have this oh that's the problem the pivot point here it's way too far so we need to, to affect pivot only again from hierarchy and drag this guy right here now it's in the middle let's do one more time modify tapper make sure we're working on Y and Z raise the amount something like 0.3 will give me the effect I need and that's it we created this object if we drag it uh, drag it close to this one as close as we can and here we need to make the uh, the effect of the tapper limited 
so let me limit the effect to something like what you see here so the effect works on the lower part only so when you activate limit effect you can change the value from upper and lower limit but here I get what I want I have the same shape in the upper part and the effect works only uh, down so let me modify this actually we need the effect to work on the lower part only we need it to be rounded like this so fine and the upper maybe the upper needs to be adjusted not much actually maybe the tap the taper value needs to be decreased let me check yeah that's too much let me make it 0 0.5 0.22 is fine and gives me the effect I need okay for curve it gives you more curving but you need if you raise the curve you need to reduce the amount so you can play with it until we get what we need And maybe I can raise the value of the upper limit to something like this. Okay. I think this is good. That gives me the effect I need. So work on the uh, upper lower limit and the value of the amount and curve. Try to make them something between 0.15 up to 0.2 until you get this shape now right click convert to editable poly and I guess it's thick than this one so I can use the scale tool scale it not much slightly on the X axis and push it forward now I need to connect it back this one so I use a touch and I pick this object now they are grouped again we're done with this part the last thing I will do and actually I won't do it while recording is to create few edges not very much uh, edges is left here maybe this edge the new edges we created while welding this edge right here needs to be creased and this too maybe the new part we created and at last I will drop it inside a uh, uh, turbo smooth so it can, can be smoothed like the other parts uh, what will be left for me is this part right here that's what we will do in the next recording and actually we can see it so I looked up to find something uh, that can help me and that's what I got I got this shape and that's not um, it's nothing much actually just few cuts and this uh, rounded so we can do it in the last video so keep up with us to the last video